I got the lovely bunch of Dean Mustafa. <laughs> everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland. My name's Fiona and I have another Timu haul for you. They just keep coming. I don't know what the problem is. It's not like I'm addicted to that site or anything. <laughs> well, maybe a wee bit. Anyway, I want to start by saying that I have bought these with my own pennies, but I do have an affiliate link in the description below. If you use that to download the Timu app, you can get a bundle of coupons worth up to £100. Also, I have got a discount code in the description and if you are brand new to Timu, that will give you 50% off your first order. So please feel free to use them. As always, I cannot remember what I've ordered, so I am going to take it out one at a time. We'll find out together like Christmas. And I'll put the prices on the screen. Let's go. Oh, oh, this feels strange. Okay, I think I've got a bunch of things here. Oh, ah, yeah. Right, I'm going to take this out the bag for you. <laughs> I totally forgot I had ordered this. It is a heat transfer vinyl transfer thing. <laughs> it's for putting onto like a t-shirt. I was thinking about a tote bag. I think that would look really cool on a Christmas bag. Is this jolly enough? I just love the Grinch this year. I'm so into the Grinch. And yeah, I could make it with heat transfer vinyl with my um, Cricut. But to be honest, for the price of it, it's probably just as cheap and definitely a lot easier to buy it from Timu. There's no instructions with it, but I'm pretty sure it will just be, you could use it with a normal iron, so just any sort of temperature and things should be fine, but yay! That looks really good. Hopefully, that will be as good as it looks. It is a bit bashed up, but it should be fine once it's actually put onto the garment. And I have seemed to have bought a whole load of other ones as well. I remember seeing them and thinking, you know what, for the price of them, I'm going to get them. And these are all heat transfer vinyl, I think, so they can be put on, <gasps> look, I love gonks. They can be put on t-shirts, any sort of material, in fact, anything at all. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to put them on t-shirts or bags or just in resin, but look at them. I love the gonks. What else, what else? Just the girl who loves Christmas, that's me. That should go on a t-shirt for me. Peace, love, Christmas. Oh, I just got that in a different haul um, as well. But having more than one is fine by me. What else? Look at them all. There's loads. Can't remember how much they were. I <laughs> love Christmas. So it's the same but different. Different Santa, different patterns, but I do like it. Tis the season to sparkle, yes. Can imagine that on something with some diamantes around it. Peace, love, Santa. <laughs> if you hear funny noises, it's the dogs playing. Hot cocoa and Christmas movies. Look, it's an old VHS tape. Playing a Christmas carol. Oh, that takes me back. Peace, love, Christmas. Oh, there's loads. I think this was a full pack. I can't actually remember. Christmas with my no -mies. Hopefully you're seeing these okay. Um, Gonks tangled in Christmas lights. Ho, ho, ho. Love them. Love gonks. Hanging with my no -mies. Oh, oh, oh. We're upside down again. Lots of hanging with my no -mies. And Merry Christmas. So for anybody who likes, you can get these sort of patterns for sublimation and things, but not everybody's got a sublimation printer. So this is an ideal alternative. Merry Christmas, joy to the world. <laughs> Support squad. <laughs> That's cool. Noel, I like that. It's quite old fashioned looking. On the nice list and I know me. I love these. I'll need to check how much these were because they're brilliant. They're actually a lot better quality than I thought they were going to be. Right, what's next? Oh, have I got another one? Oh, I think I have. Oh yeah, but it's the Grinch one. Hold on, I'll open it. 
And I remember that it comes with a big one and a small one. And I just love it. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. It's not the Grinch. It's Cat in the Hat. Love it. My girls loved Cat in the Hat when they were growing up. Yay. And there's a smaller one as well. That would be lovely, like on a pencil case or something for school. And that on a tote bag would just be lovely. Or a t-shirt. Yay. They're good sizes as well. This is a bit boring, but they're a great price. I have got socks. Oh, oh it's a US size 7 to 10. Hopefully they'll be an okay size for us. I don't know what a US 7 to 10 is in real money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's take them out and see. Oh, they do look quite big. I think I'll give them to Jack. Yeah. But... To be honest, Jack had got himself some black ones and me and Brooke keep stealing them because we don't know who's is who's now. <laughs> so yeah, they'll be a good size for Jack and we'll know that his are the grey ones. What else? What else? Oh, oh yeah! Now this is UV resin, but it's coloured UV resin. Opaque, six colours. And again, they were relatively expensive, but I wanted to get them. I thought it would be worth it. I think I saw Michelle from Glitz and Glitter um, using these and I thought, what a brilliant idea. Um, coloured UV resin, there's white, silver, gold, yellow, champagne and bronze. Easy to use, safe, wide use, perfect gifts. So I will let you know how I get on with them once I use them. I'll probably make a video using them to see how they go. Yay! Oh, ah, <laughs> I got this with Brooke in mind. I'm going to open it. It is supposed to be a tree ornament, but she won't use it for a Christmas tree. It's quite dull looking. I don't know. Does a, a top layer come off, maybe? Um, not sure. Um, But yeah, Brooke loves horror films and it is one of the, the sort of scary ones that we like to watch. So when I saw that, I thought I need to get it for her. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the pumpkin, but uh, yeah, I like Pennywise with the balloon. Is that? I don't know if that's meant to have a layer coming off it or not. I'm about to find out. <laughs> if not, it's very poorly made because it's coming off very easily. Yeah, that's better. That's better. <laughs> that is so cool. So I'll give that to Brooke and see what she thinks. She'll hang it in her room probably. Ooh. Ooh. I've actually bought a few of these key rings um, because, I mean, they're nice as key rings, but I want to repurpose them in resin. And uh, I thought I would get the Christmas tree one to try. And I mean, that could be used as a key ring for something else as well. Just saying Merry Christmas. But the actual, this here, I'm going to try using it in resin. I've got a couple of ideas in mind. Again, it's a good size. That's it on the hand. Yeah, like it. Oh, we've got another tree decoration. I like this wee bag, actually. How nice is this? Let me see if I can open it without ruining it, because that could be reused. Hey! This is a Nightmare Before Christmas one. And again, I'll probably use that in resin. That is really cool. I like that. So yeah, that will be lovely in resin. It does come with a hanger, but I'm going to definitely find something else to do with that. That's so nice. It's a really good size, actually. It's bigger than the palm of my hand. And, and just, oh wait, now we've got something else in here. What's this? Oh, it's got a little bell. I take it that must be for on the actual hanger. Ha! <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll take that sticker off and reuse that bag. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, look at this glitter. Eight colour set. I do like their sets of glitters because they are stackable. Hold on. Oh, I'll open this and then show you. Oh, maybe these aren't the stackable ones, actually. Oh, <laughs> they're not stackable. I just dropped them. Thankfully, the lids didn't come off because that would have been a lovely mess. <laughs> I'll turn them this way up. Oh, they're nice colours. A lot of the glitters are stackable. I thought this one would be too, but it doesn't matter. 
Oh, I love that green. So there we go. They look quite holographic. They're lovely colours. I love that as well. Ah. And I do like that they've got numbers on them because it means that if you... Sorry about the dogs. If you want to order more, you've got an idea of what ones they wear. I like that. I love Timu Holmes. Well, oh, got another one of these nice wee bags. But, oh, it's the Grinch. Yay. Yeah, this one's got a wee bell with it as well. Ah, oh, look at that. Again, I don't know. I might use it as a decoration. I might use it in resin. I'm not really sure. That is so cool, though. I just love these expressions. Look at the dog. <laughs> and another little bell. And I can reuse them as well. Oh, no. I was going to say, I thought I'd, I had managed to get a haul without a mould. But it's not. It's a measuring cup. I got another one of these. I'll open it. These are brilliant. This is a 100ml measuring cup and they are so good for measuring your resin. I've got quite a few of them but some of them are getting a little bit manky now and uh, I thought I would get another one but yeah they're fantastic. So easy to clean. When I say manky I just mean like bits of glitter and stuff like that on the outside but yeah I like them. I'm sure this is down as like earring holders or some jewellery holders or something. But, do they close? That one doesn't seem to close properly. Let's see these. No. Am I missing something? I might be missing something, but that does not seem to be closing. I mean, they're... They're small, but they're a good size if you're just putting like a wee pair of earrings or a little, um, a small sort of pendant type thing in them. But if they don't close, they're not much good to me. I may be missing something. If not, ah, sorry about that. My dog just knocked the stand over. Ah, they do close. I don't know how I did it. Ah, there we go. Ah, right. So when you're closing them, you push the bottom bit up rather than the top bit down. Yeah, they're good. And I like the fact that they stack like that. Perfect. We're nearly there. I've got one more thing after this. And this is... It looks like another sort of sticker book. Hold on. It is. But this one has got like... Four little... Um, pockets in each page. And I can't remember why I got this when I've got the other one, but there must have been a reason. <laughs> I can't remember. But yeah, I quite like it anyway. It's always handy to have things like that. See if you do like diamond painting stickers or key rings or something. That's a really good way to display them and keep them nice. I'm not sure what I got that for. I maybe just thought while I was getting stuff, I'm going to get another one because they are good. We're all done. This is the last thing. It is... Ah, right, okay, it's, I'll take it out. Now, this is the Pearl Alcohol Ink, and it's silver grey, so it's for use in resin. Yeah, so I think this is the one that sort of shimmers now. I got one on Amazon, and it was a complete rip-off. The amount, it showed you six bottles in the picture, but I actually only sent one, and you didn't get a choice of the colour, so yeah. I got my money back for that and left them a bad review, but... Yeah, I'll see how this works and I will let you know in future videos that and the UV resin. So, that is everything from today's Timu haul. I hope you have enjoyed it. You know what to do. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. Talk to me in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.